Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial and happy Valentine's Day. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a pixelated heart as the one that you see here in Illustrator. Um, you can also draw any other thing, any other pixel object with this technique. Uh, just choose whatever your heart desires. So let's get started. So here I have an artboard. It's 500 pixels by 500 pixels. So you want it to be a square. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose a rectangular grid tool and we're gonna give a click right here. We're gonna put the default size, the same size as our artboard, so 500 by 500, and then we're gonna choose the number of dividers. Uh, we want this to be equal to one another, and you can imagine every single divider being a individual pixel. So our heart is going to be less than 25 by 25 pixels. So you just choose whatever you want right there, and press OK, and we get this. We're gonna give it a stroke of uh, black color, black color stroke, and then we're just going to adjust it so it fits into the corner of our artboard. Good. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to choose the Live Paint tool. Live Paint Bucket, so that's K. Oh, actually, we're going to select our grid. And then we're going to choose the Live Paint Bucket. And we're going to click. And now, what you'll see is that every single place that we click, we make that color, whatever we have as a fill, inside that box. Now, using the live paint bucket, we are going to make our heart. So starting somewhere around here, we're gonna make, uh, make sure that you have color in. And we're gonna make the base and then go up. Two, three, four, five, and then by two. And then one, two, three, four. And then up by two. And then one, two, three down by one and then down by one and that's half the heart and then we just repeat on the other side so one up one two three down down one two three four down down one two three four five and done cool now we're going to give it a red fill so we'll choose the color make it red and all you do is you click and hold and go over all the boxes that you want to be colored red. It's very simple. Just as if you're filling this up with a brush in Photoshop. So we just do that. Not too complicated. And don't worry if you get one of the black spaces, you can just color it red right after. All right. Yeah, missed one. Good. Now we're gonna switch this to a white and we're gonna give the heart a gloss. Just about here, duck, 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 like that. Then we're gonna choose this red color and we're gonna make it a bit pinkish, so somewhere around there. And just select our live paint bucket tool again and color around these points right here, just to give it a bit of effect. And the last thing we're gonna do, well, the last colory thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select our red right here and we're gonna make it a bit darker. I'm just going to here towards the black and press K and then we're just going to color in right here and give it a little shading on this side of the heart and once again we get the red and this time we're going to make it a bit darker but also lighter towards the white spectrum like that and press K and fill in these blanks like so just kind of randomly it doesn't matter too much Great. Now having done that, what we're going to do now is we're going to select the entire object, we're going to right click, and we're going to ungroup it. Having done that, now we're going to go to Object, Live Paint, and Expand. Great. And the last thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Pathfinder right here, and we're going to go Divide. So now our object looks like this. If you see these little lines right here, this is just um, artifacts from Illustrator. They're not going to show up in your end result. So then we use our magic wand tool to select the grid on the outside. And we just press delete. And there we have it. Our heart is now completed. Very simple. And if you zoom out, you see some of the effects. So right here, it looks a bit too thick. I would just uh, remove some of those little lines, but uh, otherwise, 
there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Happy Valentine's Day. If you like this tutorial, please give it a like, subscribe, check out our other videos, and of course, as always, have a great day.